I've already done this two other times and failed. This is the last shot I've got. I have to make sure that my tattoo speaks louder than anyone's. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. It's so sick, dude. I want to do something that Ink Master has never seen before, and that is a full chest, full rib panel, all the way down onto a leg. I'm trying to write history, and I'm trying to win this competition. I'm in. Let's do it. So you bad at that new school, huh? Anything with a lot of color in it. I've definitely not settled on just being a great new school tattoo artist, but I've picked up a lot of other tricks along the way. You have six hours to give your canvas a hot pinup with sexy proportion. And your time begins now. Having a darker canvas does not give you the ability to do bright colors. I'm a color specialist, so I hope to just kind of pass by on this one. The canvas, sometimes they ask for things that you really don't want to do. Craig's weakness is gray wash, and if you can't do gray wash, you shouldn't be able to be an ink master. Craig. Overall, you did a detailed tattoo, and the proportion looks right, but as a whole, it's just something unappealing about it. And you got a lot smoother on some of your lighter shading than we've seen before, but some of your darker shading is rough. When you take a black and gray look, but you go at it in a color approach, meaning you're coloring in such massive areas of the whole figure and not letting it breathe, it just gives it a weird look. I'm toning down my coverage from the day to day. You're getting better, but this whole approach to making it so solid and so colored, it's just going to work against you. You need to get black and gray in your bag of tricks. Craig, man, I look at your tattoo and it's just not appealing. And then once I get into the technical part of it, there's a lot of flaws. The judges have decided. Craig, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Craig, the issue is if you can't do black and gray, you can't be Ink Master. It's your Achilles heel. Please pack your machines and close shop. I'm pissed off. It just doesn't make any sense. You just told a really talented artist that sucks. When Josh's artistic skill is just non-existent, it's just a bunch of bull One of the most controversial eliminations in Ink Master history occurred during season three. And that artist is back to try to claim the title, and he brought his master to compete against. Craig Foster and Miami Burgess. First time I came into this competition, I played a very fair, friendly game. I left that at home. I pretty much specialize in color, new school realism. This is my house. I'm going to be here all the way to the end. Greg came to me and said, hey, man, I'd like to get an apprenticeship. I taught him everything he knows. I love to do black and gray. Every tattoo I do, I want that wow factor. Craig and I, we can be friends on the outside, but here it's to prove who's the best. I think we're doing a cool skull. What style are we going to do it in? A new school black and gray. I'm back to prove anyone that has any doubts about my black and gray totally wrong. My skull versus your skull. Black and gray. Miami and Craig, let's start with you. New school black and gray. Let's talk about tattoo number one. Looking at this tattoo overall, there's a lot of heavy, clean lines and a lot of smooth gray shading. I like the way that whoever did this was able to pull off some different size lines. Overall, aesthetically, it's cool. It's strong. It's bold. Let's move on to tattoo number two. This tattoo is very big, very striking. But once you get into it and look real close, it's pretty rough. The black shading that comes off the back of the skull underneath the hair, it's just like that back of the arm just didn't get paid attention to. Well, taking into consideration overall ability, let's debate a win here. Based on everything from line work to shading to solid black, I have to go with number one. I'd have to go with number one as well. Unanimous, number one. Who did number one? I did. Craig. You went home on a black and gray tattoo. Yes, I did. And here you've come back, first tattoo out the gate, black and gray, beat the master. To prove you deserve a spot in the live finale, you must turn your failure into success. Your canvases have been randomly assigned, and you'll have six hours to tattoo. Head to your shops, and we'll bring in your canvases. Good luck. Let's do it, man. All right. Come here, right here. Working so hard for this long, fourth place is going to be a bitter, bitter, bitter taste. Hearing the critiques and knowing exactly why you messed something up is a great chance to learn and build. If you come back and you redeem yourself and you're strong in this challenge, you'll make it to the finale. 
you say your competition's tough or no? Oh yeah, yeah, totally, man. But I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I could beat tough competition. We're looking for perfection. I don't want to see somebody up twice. The other person that I did one on didn't really want a side and she wanted an anchor. Last time I did this tattoo, I was not in my element, wasn't thinking right. It was just a rough day, you know? I feel like I just cannot get a win with color. So black and gray seems like the best option. The black and gray is definitely going to let us get a lot more done. This will be the most important tattoo I do. Got to make this one count. Craig, if you don't go to the finale, I'll be more heartbroken than you are. Craig. One of the biggest problems with your previous Neptune was definitely design elements not flowing together. You definitely made a better design choice this time. Overall, man, you got a lot of nice fine details in the cracks, making this thing really look like a statue. But then when it comes to the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, the detail is gone. I almost wish that you would have just done a simpler face and had some cracks running across it and just give it that statuesque look instead of losing me with the messy face. Everything in the composition of the actual statue itself is great. It's just very tonal and very dark. You did an amazing drawing, and then you really went in and just muddied it up. Craig. Your drawing is a beautiful drawing. The hand holding the lightning is great, but that arm just literally blends right back into that pillar. You're just so tonal in so many places in this. I was trying to keep the whole statue way lighter than the stones behind it. You gotta pick a place that the light comes from, and you gotta commit to those motions. Those are the concepts that you really gotta hold on to, and that will change this look. Both you guys show strengths and weaknesses in your tattoos. You guys are men, you're not machines, but in this competition, the strongest horse wins the race. One of you is headed to the live finale, and one of you is about to close shop right now. The judges have decided. Chris, you are headed to the live finale. Congratulations. Damn. Thank you, guys. Craig, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. It's been a good trip. The last time that I was here, leaving was more confusing. This time, I understand it. I respect the out of you for coming back and doing it again. And you know you're welcome back in this room anytime you want to come in. Please pack your machines and close shop. Cheers, you guys. I showed up, never gave up. I wanted to see what I could do because I really felt like I did not finish the last time I came. And now I feel like I finished. Didn't work out perfectly, but at the end, I'm satisfied. Teaching Kyle how to tattoo and then me not making it on a team when he does, that's just an embarrassment. The subject matter is something I'm really comfortable in and I'm gonna do everything I can and fight to get on one of those teams. This guy wins, you think he's coming straight over to you? Does he want to be one of the brothers or? Or does he want to go flop on your team? We'll see about that. Matt and Jimmy, you're up next. Jimmy, you called colored American traditional girl head. I really like this drawing. I really like the simple, bold approach, and I love the color palette. Overall, man, it's a pretty bulletproof tattoo. Thank you. Let's take a look at Matt's tattoo. Very recognizable image. You got a lot of really clean lines. It just has a little bit more of a newer look than a real standard traditional tattoo. It's a tough day in here, man. You guys both deserve to be in this room, and whoever doesn't make it should definitely fight their way back in. Both of them are so great. Both of these tattoos have great qualities to them. Going by what the call was on an American traditional tattoo, I think Jimmy edges this one out. My vote's for Jimmy. The winner of the face-off is Jimmy. Jimmy. You have six hours to tattoo a mermaid proving your artistry. And your time starts now. All right, let's do this, girl. Let's go, guys. We gotta keep it straight. When we put it on, don't hyperextend. This week, the elimination tattoo is gonna be mermaid. Right there. Uh, looks like it needs to go more. Hopefully, these guys have their understanding of anatomy. Is that good? Yes. Still in a good spot? Yeah. Hopefully, people understand what the bottom of a fish looks like. Hopefully, they can put them together. How's my skin? Um, I'm an old yeah. It's just you have to be really careful with it so it doesn't split because it's like really thin. My canvas originally wanted a color realistic mermaid on his ribs. I finally got him to agree to a black and gray semi realistic mermaid on his leg. I'm just gonna go grab another needle. But my canvas is still a complete grenade. Got a canvas today. 
Thanks, Tiffer. Of all people, I, like, why would he give that to you? It sucks to see my brother struggle. I just can't, like, I can't pack it solid. My whole life, I've kind of been in Jimmy's shadow. We haven't really had the best relationship growing up. It's crazy, we finally hit that point where we're on the same page and we understand each other and we respect each other. And now, one of us could be going home. Looks good, man. Thanks, dude. Right now, it's all about survival. I just need to put everything that I have into this tattoo and make it work. If he goes home, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get through this. Jimmy. Your silhouette on this is just not flattering. She's not curvy in the right place. The width of the hips to the width of the tail and how drastically it just becomes that little thin noodle in the back and then how huge the fin is. She's got a massive neck, a huge block jaw. Everything on here is just kind of a fight within itself. Everybody today struggled, but this one chose a lot. Okay, judges, time to determine who's going home. Amanda's tattoo is missing limbs. I can't back the anatomical issues. Are you voting Amanda home? Yeah, I'm voting Amanda Holy home. When I look at all three tattoos, Jimmy's is the least appealing. My vote's for Jimmy. My vote's for Jimmy. The judges have decided, Jimmy, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I 100% believe you are a better tattooer than people that are sitting upstairs. I just want to thank you because I've learned a lot from all your critiques, this entire competition. I think you killed it, man. You took a swing and I think you at least hit it. I think you did great, man. Please pack your machines and close shop. A few years ago, I had my foot in the grave, and I never thought I'd be able to fight to get myself into this competition. I'm pretty proud and happy with how far I did get, and I think uh, now I got my money on Kyle. Today, you must each tattoo whatever state it is that you call home. Uh, this is gonna be rough. I hate state tattoos. You'll have six hours, and you can tattoo in any style. Get ready. Your canvases are completely open and have been randomly assigned. There is one more thing you should know. Yeah, always something. No matter where you came from, your tattoos must speak for themselves because these tattoos will be judged blind. Oh, oh man. Man. It's great that it's blind critiques. I mean, there are four returning artists, and this way it shows the rest of the room that there's no playing favorites. It shows you how brutally honest that this competition can be. Hey, I know you're busy really quick. This isn't my first time in this competition. What if you do the state inside the big crab shell? So there's a shit ton of pressure on me. The judges are gonna expect a lot from me. They know what my work looks like. They know what I'm capable of. Last time I had to fight to get on a team. This is not the time for a repeat. I'm gonna drop like some background. Dude, they hate backgrounds. My team's also relying on me too. Tell me what I should do different. I'm being pulled in all sorts of directions. Tilted. All right, artists, you have six hours to tattoo your state, and your time starts now. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's get it. Hell yeah. yeah. Bam. Oh, man, the screens of doom. Time for the blind critiques. These guys had to tattoo their states. Let's bring up the first tattoo. Oh, here we go. Is there a shape of a state in there? It's Massachusetts. Oh, mass. I do see it now. Design-wise, a little weird, but the black that's in the sails, it's solid, it whips out, it's all consistent. Best done black that we've seen today for black. That tattoo kind of makes me a little nervous about traditional day. We'll see if we get one. You had 13 hours to show us quality and quantity in this tattoo marathon, and your time starts now. All right. Ready to party? Ready, ready. First one out of the gate, a lot of perfect circles right on her ribs. I'm just gonna go for it. This is my time to shine and show off and take that difficult placement regardless of what happens. Can I run to the bathroom like super quick? Um, I'm, we're almost done. Okay, we're yeah, done. Yeah, there's like, like five, ten minutes left. Yeah, don't worry about Is that okay? That. Yep, no problem. There's no time for breaks. I'm sorry, honey, but you gotta sit still. We need to get this shit done. We need to get you out of here so I can get the next one rolling. 12 hours left, people, 12 hours. Oh, man, just my eyes sting from holding them open so long, staring. I can't even see right now. Every time I open my eyes to try to pull this line work, they just tear up and start to sting. All right, Jimmy, let's get your eyes cleaned up. 
Do I have to recover from it? Nope. Hit me. All the way back. Blink, 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 blink. Forward. Done. One hour left. Final hour. Where do you want this thing? Uh, where I want it. What about uh, your, your leg? Sure. I did not come all this way just to quit now and relax. I'm just doing what I know how to do best. Thank you. Have a good I appreciate it. Thanks. Jimmy. That was quick as What one was that? The uh, tombstone. Good yeah, shit, quick as hell. 20 minutes left. Jimmy, you got 20 minutes, man. What's up, man? How's it going? Is he really going to try that shit? Yeah. I got time for that tombstone. All right, let's do it. Is he insane? <laughs> Where the is it? Come on. Jimmy, you're insane. 18 minutes. Earning a spot in that finale, for me, it's proving to myself that I have completely transformed from the person I was into the person that I can be. And if I can win the title of Ink Master, I can do anything. Come on, mother Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, Machine Town. Time is up. This tattoo marathon is over. 15 minute tattoo, bro. That looks real good for 15 minutes. <laughs> bro. <laughs> Jimmy. Your flash designs were tattooed 16 times, one less than Angel. I like the style of these tattoos. Simple, clean, legible, easy to tattoo. In 13 hours, you completed 13 tattoos. What I like about the tattoos is the fact that they all have weight. Your skull's head with the steps, the way that you shade it, the consistency, the black, has a very heavy, strong weight. But you have a little bit of some wobbles towards the top of the outline. There are a few tattoos in your bunch where your outline gets a little away from you. Your first tattoo, the moon, you get a little bit of wobbles in your outline. I know it's in a difficult area. It was on the ribs, I mean. Your last tattoo of the day, I love the way this one shaded. Quick, big whip. Did that in 15 minutes. Even though you're in a rush, it's still solid, it's still clean, you still keep the consistency. Overall, your body of work, you put your stamp and your style on the tattoos, whether they are your design or not. The consistency plays strong in your favor. Thank you. When I look at these pieces of art on the skin, the tattooer that looks like they attacked these things and had the most consistent approach is Jimmy, and that is my vote. Because he colored in the lines, and because it is clean, I'm going with Jarrell. I agree, Jarrell has super clean outlines, but those birds of Jarrell are super rough. And then he has a tombstone with that gray all crammed in there. When I compare a couple things back and forth, the few little hiccups that Jimmy has still looks like big, solid tattoos. My vote is for Jimmy. The judges have decided. Jimmy, you have earned the last spot in the finale. I put a lot um, on the line, so is Jarrell. We both put in a lot of shit throughout our entire lives just to get to this moment. I'm happy, thank you. Congratulations, brother. Oh, you're rolling too. Yeah. Really gorgeous. Katie and I are working as a team. We constantly try to help each other out. That's what we're used to doing day to day. My specialty would be bold, traditional inspired tattoos. It's not a matter of beating my master, it's a matter of winning the competition. A female tattooer needs to own this and win it, and I'm that one. It is out of control how awesome your tattoo is. <laughs> Matt and Katie, neo-traditional bird and flower. Let's start with tattoo number one. The black's really strong, the outline looks great, the color palette really works for this design. Let's look at tattoo number two. I like the overall layout, big, tough claws. It's a big tattoo. If it wasn't this big, it could have got a little more detailed out, and the owl itself could have been stronger. Let's debate a win here. How strong and vivid number one looks, I'm going with number one. I'm going to go with number one as well. Number one? Who did tattoo number one? I did. Well done. OK, artists, you have six hours to create a famous work of art. And your time begins now. I'll get this last chunk down here done. Water Lilies by Monet is by far the most difficult because there's so much layering happening in the painting. Duffy and I are choosing to go about this painting two different ways. She's using a zoomed in section to tattoo and I'm using a little bit more of the painting. I want to make sure that the painting is identifiable. You see Duffy's? 
I saw it once and it was earlier on. How's she doing? It looks amazing. Katie, you went head to head with Duffy. I'm familiar with this painting and I'm not entirely sure if I would know what this is if I was standing next to her. I felt like it was very difficult to translate into a tattoo. Your colors are completely different than the colors in the painting. In the painting, there's some really bright, vivid areas of green with a really high contrast. You made those areas really forest hunter green, so it changes the painting itself. You've got one of the harder paintings to reproduce and one of the hardest parts of the body. Definitely shows there's a struggle here. It's a rough one. All right, guys, we have to decide who's gonna go home here. Matt and Katie's are the two bottom tattoos. Yeah, I would agree. If I look at both tattoos from five feet away, I know what Matt's is. I know that it is Venus. Katie, I don't think that a lot of people are gonna know what that is. Carter. I have to go with Matt. It's a very linear painting that actually could be beautifully translated. I just didn't find it there. So just purely on that, I would have to say he executed the worst tattoo of the day. This is the toughest decision today. I have to go with Katie. It's very difficult to identify this as being a famous painting. Gotta go with Katie. The judges have decided. Katie, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Bye, y'all. Win it. This is total bull I'm going home today because I was given the most difficult subject matter on the most difficult part of the body. It's not fair. You're halfway through this competition, but the toughest challenges are yet to come. Only one shop will earn $200,000, a feature in Ink Magazine, and the title of Ink Master. Hell yeah. And for the first time ever, the title of Master Shop. <laughs> Now, standing in your way are the next returning veterans. They both competed in season six, representing Black Cobra Tattoo, Matt Oba, and Katie McGowan. Two veterans that made it so far in the competition. It's a bulletproof team. Matt made it to the finale once before. I made it through about 75% of the competition. Now that we're here as a team, everybody needs to watch out. No matter who's here this time, there's nobody that's gonna stop us from getting to the finale. We want it more than anyone else could possibly want it, and we have a point to prove. Matt, Katie. Good to see you guys, welcome back. Hello. Thank you. So how are you guys planning on working as a team? The things that I don't do well at, he excels in and vice versa, so we're just a really good match. Well, this week is designed to put your shop to the ultimate test. Please join the other artists. These guys have a long history of working together. They're master and apprentice. They're gonna be a huge threat to everybody. This week, we're testing consistency. For this flash challenge, your canvases all have loved ones with a condition that has permanently changed their appearance. Oh. Now, sometimes this can bring unwanted attention and embarrassment that they live with every day. To show their support and solidarity, your canvases want an exact replica of their loved one's condition, permanently tattooed on their skin. Not easy. No. going so fast down there. Yeah. This is our first day back. We really want to come in and show that we have what it takes. So I want Katie to do the lines on this piece, and I'm going to follow up and come in and do the shading. Katie, I want to walk about for a minute. I'm not here to make enemies by any means, but I'm definitely sizing all of the artists up. I met you at your finale. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. I appreciate it. You've been there. Yeah. It's tough. Next up is Black Cobra Tattoo. Katie's consistent, solid black outline. That's definitely you back in the house. Really smooth application mat and the shading. Overall, I like a little drop shadow and the softness. You have very dark and bold and solid. Looks like a perfect sticker. Well done. You got robbed on season six. And I feel so, like you went home way too early. I totally agree. So we have a lot to prove. So we wanted to do Birds of Prey. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. For the color one, we chose a falcon. The torch is representative of, like, taking the wind, bringing it home. We really designed these to where you cannot tell who did what, and that's really telling of how collaborative we are as a team. Dude, yeah. that is sick. And they're going to look great together. I'm ready to bring the title of Master Shop home. I'm ready to put that check in the bank. Uh, other two shops have a lot of talent. I wouldn't expect either one of them to drop the ball. But I hope they do a little. Yeah. I feel like these two back pieces are the best tattoos of my career. These tattoos are worth $100,000 each. 
it's time to reveal your 35 hour color back needs. That is a total of 76 hours of tattooing to secure the title of Master Shop. Good. And go ahead, reveal, please. Well, guys, looking at the tattooing, it is flawless again. Both back pieces match. The anatomy issue here is the bottom wing. From the connection of the breast where the wing connects on the top wing, if you turn that over and look at the other side of that bird, the connections don't balance out. If you put an arch in that wing and then drop it, it would look a lot more dynamic and not as questionable. Really great job, guys. Love the tattoo. Technically, it's, it's as solid as it can be, and it looks like one tattooer did it, which is just kind of just unbelievable. Based on all 76 hours of tattooing, which of these shops gets the win? Honestly, man, Old Town has really put out two big, tough tattoos. Old Town Inc. Congratulations. Thank you for joining us. Good night. Perfect. Make sure all my babies still work. Perfect. I'm known for my new school tattooing, but I'll knock anything out of the park. Portraits, black and gray, I'll do it all. Tim has a grudge against me. He used to work at my shop. Terrible with clients, and I just had to fire him. Dude, that was four years ago, and that yes, was- Yes, it was, but my issue with you over that whole thing, honestly, was not taking me aside and having a conversation with me like a straight up man instead of putting me on blast. I wanted to sock you in the jaw that day. I really did. <laughs> God. I helped him build his shop in Vegas, and then he tried to basically punk me in front of a bunch of people, and now it's my turn to pay him back. It will be a bloodbath, and I'm gonna end up mopping the floor with his ass. I specialize in surrealism tattoos mixed with full realism and portrait style detail. It's about to be on like Donkey Kong, man. Today, you had to work with your rival on the same tattoo. Remember, you're being judged as a team. Tim and clean. First of all, you're f***ing yourself going this big. To do this big a tattoo is stupid. Well, I know I could have handled it. I drew it. We both did a couple of designs, but I didn't. But yours was terrible. It wasn't terrible. Come out of your wet dream, let me know when you're back. I probably could have done the whole tattoo in half the time that both of us did the tattoo. Tie the background into the foreground if you're gonna do this much background so it doesn't look like an afterthought. Right now, you have a big afterthought. Clean, come on down, man. Let's take a look. I was doing photo realism, and um, you know, my guy's a mechanic, and you know, I'm a gearhead, and uh, we just decided to do some hot rod stuff and a uh, super badass skull. Cool, man. Thanks, Clean. I think that Clean's work really is very consistent though. It's a repeat of what he's done from the first episode all the way to the finale. And I feel like as a judge on this show, I have to compliment craftsmanship. And I feel like Clean is that. I need a final decision. I'm picking Jason. <laughs> Chris, final decision. My final decision is clear, clean. Can't hear you. Clean, I'm going with you because consistently throughout the season, you did great. You were a solid tattooer and you represented the community with dignity and pride. And I appreciate that. Wow. $100,000 on the line and a split decision. And I hate this. Let me collect my thoughts. Let me collect my thoughts. Let me collect my thoughts, guys. 
Now here's the deal. I do think that Clean outperformed everybody here throughout the season. And if I had to choose one of these two tattoos to wear, I'd wear Clean's. But Jason hit the challenge. Hold on. I'm thinking Jason hit the challenge. I got it. <laughs> um, you know, and I gotta think that, you know, if you look at the Super Bowl, and this is our Super Bowl, it doesn't matter how the teams performed, it matters what happens in the final game. God, this is, this is. It's always tough. This is hard, man. It's always tough. It's a tough decision. Jason. You do have what it takes to be. <laughs> to make it to the end, you must defeat some of the strongest artists this competition has ever seen. And they are back for revenge. I'm gonna welcome this veteran artist with open arms. Veterans are gonna take over and there's nothing these new guys can do about it. The veteran about to walk through the door specializes in new school, but he's one of the most versatile artists ever to compete. And that took him all the way to the finale. The suspense is killing me. Clean rock one. You killed it on the details. This is a really sharp, vibrant, dynamic tattoo, man. That's what wins this competition. Well, I'm out for blood today. Clean Rock won fast, he saturates, and he should have won the competition. I am here to get my revenge. I lost to Jason Clay Dunn. There is no way in hell that I'm coming in second place again. I am here to take back my rightful throne. Welcome back, Clean. As a veteran, you fought through this competition once. You now have the power to choose the next elimination tattoo. This week, you're calling the shots. What's the next elimination tattoo? We're gonna do hot rods and choppers, neo-traditional style. Not much drum, boy. Probably half the guys here don't know about hot rods and choppers. I'm a gearhead. I'm gonna kill this tattoo, and there ain't nobody gonna get in my way get all this gray done. I'm gonna kill this tattoo. How you yeah. doing, man? So that's just the V engine of your bike? Time-wise, you know, I figured let's just make the motor nice and beefy. Yeah, mirror start that engine, you know what I mean? As a veteran artist, my strategy is to do good, solid, clean tattoos. I've been preparing for this since season five. Three, two, one. That is it, time is up, machine's down. No more ink. All right, come on over. That is badass. I'll tell you right now, if I don't win this one by looking at these other chumps tattoos, this rig. Clean, let's start with you. When you said neo-traditional, this was the palette that I expected to see from the field. I like the flames, the engine is very identifiable, and I like what you did with this background. I think that's the best part. Red, wine, blue, baby. America. That's not American, Clean. It's America. That's a Puerto Rican he, flag. He gave him a Puerto Rican flag. I see the discrepancies with the flag. Putting more stars in the blue area instead of one big white star would have helped you out. But no one can argue with this line work. Nobody can argue with your saturation. The details of this motor are right. It's a very slick tattoo. This season, we had the toughest artists, past and present, fighting for the title of Ink Master. But these three held strong. Let's bring out your finalists. Kristen Buckingham. Anthony Michaels. <laughs> Clean Rock One. Whoa! Wow, mixed reviews. Back again for the second time, 
Clean Rock One, come on up, dude. The judges assigned you black and gray. Fine line. Oh. Let's hear about that. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, basically you guys assigned me black and gray, and uh, that's not my forte. So I uh, pretty much just looked at the guys that I, you know, admire, and I try to do something as uh, close to that as possible. All right, man. Thanks, fellas. <laughs> You're the only veteran to make it to the finale, and this is your second time on this stage. You feeling the pressure? Well, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm super confident and I'm comfortable, and you know, this is basically, uh, you know, this is it. You know, yeah. it's do or die. Yeah, it is, man. The judges gave you fine line, black and gray. Ollie. Clean, I love this tattoo, man. It's beautiful, it fits really nice, but the imagery that you selected is so powerful. It fit what you were challenged and what you were asked to do. The detail that you got in the Sacred Heart is really beautiful, man. Congratulations, that's a great tattoo. Clean, come have a seat, man. I gotta say, both tattoos are killer. All four of them are killer. Anthony, you didn't finish the chest, and you didn't sleeve out the sleeve. And those are technicalities, and we critiqued clean on those very technicalities because he didn't do photorealism for his final piece. I gotta go with Clean Rock One. I gotta do it, man. What Anthony did in his sleeve, I think is not, something that not a lot of people could do. I gotta go for Anthony. The judges have decided Anthony, you do I've already done this two other times and failed. This is the last shot I've got. I have to make sure that my tattoo speaks louder than anyone's. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. It's so sick, dude. I want to do something that Ink Master has never seen before, and that is a full chest, full rib panel, all the way down onto a leg. I'm trying to write history, and I'm trying to win this competition. I'm in. Let's do it. Those guys gave it their all. All right, Kristen, clean. You guys went head to head the entire competition. You coached teams, you sabotaged each other, but tonight, the grudge match is coming to an end and one of you is going to leave here with $100,000. Right here, baby. It all comes down to your 35-hour master canvases and the time has come to put up or shut up. All right, clean. Step up and let's bring out your master canvas, buddy. Let's take a look. Wow. I'm always kind of known for going big and bold, and that's exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to do something that was the biggest tattoo that Ink Master's ever seen. I wanted to do something that well, you could see from across the street, and I wanted to show that you can do a tattoo, one shot, one kill, just tattooing. Well done, man. Clean. Great job, man. Thank you. I need a final decision from you. Christian! My vote's for Christian. Man, I love both these tattoos, too. Just if I'm looking at weight of tattoos, I gotta go with Clean Rock One. Oh my God. That hurt. Chris, that means <laughs> it is all on you, my friend. Man, I'm so torn. It's always been the same thing, and it's been the tattoo that looks heavy. And it's just the application, and what I think, for me, really holds. And as tough as this is, I'm gonna go clean. Yeah!